Hello guys, today I would like to talk about a nice topic of discussion about hot reloading or hot lo loading in a Django applications. Uh, this is a nice Reddit thread and the question is that uh, I'm new to Django and I'm wondering if there is a hot loading uh, or any relative, relatively close mechanism in the Django. and the comments are uh, are quite uh, valuable to read through. So Dev Server does this, so it will automatically reload when you make a change in your um, project. So if you hit the manage point, run server, indeed it's going to reload live reload um, your Django project. But if you even sing, change a single view or single settings thing it's going to reload the whole Django project so this is not a hot reloading or hot loading it's live reloading it's a different thing uh, what others suggest here there is a Django live reload server which is going to refresh the templates up and save this is a quite close but related to a Jinja templates I believe the next comment is uh, related to Django live reloadish library and the author suggests and uh, explains that it's going to uh, reload JavaScript, CSS and templates on behalf of you. The next comment is that it's going to, uh, there's a library called Django browser reload but I believe that it's only related to the browser reload. When you do some save or when something changed it's going to refresh or reload the browser page. But none of them is um, none of them is closer to the topic of hot reloading or hot loading. Let me explain what I mean here by introducing some uh, simple Django project, which is I'm using here the Vectail documentation. What you need to do is activate the virtual environment, install the Vectail, then Vectail start my site, my site. It's closer to Django admin start project and it will do everything uh, to fire up the boilerplate uh, project. Then of course it's uh, Django, we need to migrate, we need to create a super user for the admin and we need to run uh, manage by run server and indeed uh, I have this uh, landing page I would say this is a home page of the Vectail and if you grab the code uh, imagine that we have this search view and I would like to check what is printing this um, page here and if you save it uh, Django uh, run server detects that it's changed, this file's changed and it's doing the reloading. The reloading, doing everything from the scratch. It's performing all system checks. It's going uh, fire up the development server in, uh, from the beginning, from the very start. If you can't notice the problem here, imagine that you have this Django project with 50 apps in it, Django apps in it. And several dozens of the files which need to be restarted at each reload. And if you have some old machine with, uh, for example, oldish CPU or lower clock speed CPU, it's going to be problematic. In terms of that, you will have poor development experience while doing your job in your daily life. This is a problem which I have encountered in the past with some uh, old laptops. And uh, it indeed makes the development experience hard to believe that somebody can do some development in, under such circumstances. But, but this problem, it seems to be solved with quite nice library called Relodium. So Relodium is advanced hot reloading. It's a true hot reloading and profiling for Python. It has PyCharm plugin, 
which you can check. But what you need right now, it installs the reloading package and it has this Django integration. You can use it with Django as well as uh, documentation suggests. So I'm going, I've installed the reloading. I'm going to use it now. Let's close and uh, do reloadium, reloadium, reloadium one, manage for run server, but I'm not going to uh, reload the run server. So we, we need to pass no reload to the run server uh, to achieve the maximum performance. And reloadium is just going to fire up the old Django and it says that it's already loaded 14 modules so far from the past and if we just go and hit the save delete the sprint and save it if you notice that it's going to update the module search dot views only and update the function search with line uh, eight it was eight yeah and if i go back and save it um yeah save it it's going again update the uh, the module the exact function search function and the module itself is search dot views that means that if you go to the search it's already it's a uh, that it's princess one so the page is one but just add some kind of and it's save it's just yeah it's live reloaded again the view and it prints it so i believe that if i refresh the page it's going to be uh, printed again you can notice that uh, how powerful this thing can be if you have this uh, massive huge Django project which is uh, takes some amount of time to get started and reload in your local machine because it only detects uh, the change where you did the change the exact change and it's quite sophisticated I haven't any tests here but if you change uh, the test file it's not going to reload uh, again this um, as a server. Uh, it detects that uh, it's not imported even. So it will reload something that imported. That means that it's hot reloading the runtime. In the runtime, this is a quite neat, a sophisticated way to achieve some good uh, development experience with a Django, with a massive Django project. That was uh, my intention to explain the hot reloading topic and how Reloadium indeed fixes this issue. And it seems to be the problem is over with this nice library. Go to the, uh, go to the library page in the GitHub give him a start be a, <laughs> in order to, to be a good citizen. So thumbs up guys, this is a quite wonderful library to use with the Django uh, development. That's it for now, see you in the next videos.